Let's get to the bottom of this one Unspoken truths that I miss one Tap into the minds of the people Rather acknowledge before I dismiss one Atheists, Muslim, Christians Buddhists, they all got usage All got perspective, it's a collective Get to the bottom of the truth is Where the heart's uncovered Where you detox from all of the lies you smother When them tries to have killed you But with faith you recover Yeah Peel off the makeup, we finna take off Never said it'd be a cakewalk Meditate till we charged up That's who goes regardless Decalcify my pineal Breaking language barriers We saw millennials Planets passing, age rotations Down me we owe So down me we know Sometimes we can't be slow That's why my ears open Every drop you add could complete the ocean Speak up, play your part too Been vulnerable, it's so hard to Reflect on all the juice life taught you It's on you, tell the truth I can see you talking, but I can't hear you. I don't know what's happening. Testing one, two. Can you hear me? Because I can't hear you. It's not muted. I didn't. It went out when the music went out. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Okay. It said your mic was muted, so I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know. Push your buttons, that's weird. But anyway, so um, so I said this is Harold on Powell, aka Chose the Entrepreneur. Yes, yes, yes. How are you? I'm blessed. How are you? I'm excellent. So there's a lot of things I would like to know about you. Um, cause I, oh. I, I personally do know you, but I'd like to know one, what is the image you have for your green screen in the back? Oh, that's my logo for my business, Phantom Pin Media. And what do you do for your business? Uh, Phantom Pin Media provides services such as photography, videography, uh, social media, posts, ads, and things of that nature. Any kind of advertising needs, I got you. How long you been doing that? Uh, let's say 2020, uh, sometime around the pandemic, the height of the pandemic. Uh, I think it was like July, August, maybe I decided to, um, you know, start my own business and give myself a shot. Do you know there's a grant for business owners that um, started their business in 2020? Uh, I'm not familiar with that. And you so. don't have to pay it back. I can give you the information on it, but you have to be able uh, to start it in 2020. And I think they're paying 15,000 and you don't have to pay it back. It's oh, pandemic grant. I will. I, I need it. I need I it will all. For sure. I will for sure. Also, um, so Tell everybody about everything you do, because, man, you do more than one thing. You're not just an entrepreneur. You really are the, the whole epitome of entrepreneur, like the definition and all. Well, um, one of the services my business provides is uh, freelance writing. So that could be uh, music, journalism, blogs, anything you can think of that has to deal with writing. Uh, I can do that and I provide that service. So being that I do that, I work with several other organizations. Uh, I freelance for them. Uh, one of them is the Keel PH, where I am the community correspondent. Uh, another is Thumb Coast TV. What, what's the Keel PH? What is that? Uh, it is a digital news media publication. So there are no physical like copies, like a newspaper or anything, you find all of the news online and we provide coverage for um, pretty much all of Michigan. My my role is designated to St. Clair County. 
do you see where it says private chats? If you could put that in the private chats, I can copy and paste that and put that down here because I would like people to know about that and your business thing name. Yes, I see private chats. What did you want me to put in there? Um, the, the, we the website. Yeah, the KOPD or whatever that you do so people can get uh, hip to that. Um, I see a lot of things that you write out. Is this the writing that you do um, for them when you talk about small business owners or you're talking about um, people getting stuff for Christmas and children and stuff like that? You've wrote about the bridge. You wrote about a lot of things um, over in Port Huron. Is that through them? Yes, that is one of the organizations that I do some freelance writing for. Um, typically, my role entails covering the minority population of St. Clair County, but not limited to. So it'll, uh, I cover everything from new business, new business owners and things like that to uh, local government, uh, local government business and things of that nature. You got Can me you on camera, you got me on camera. So like, you know, when the cameras come on, the brain goes off. That's okay. Can you put on your business name in the um, private chats too? So I can share that also. Yes. Um, also, like when I first heard of you, you are very popular in the city that you live in, the town you live in, extremely. Oh, am I? I didn't you, know that. A lot of people talk about you. I heard from you from a friend of, a real good friend of mine. You were friends with his um, cousin his little cousin. So, um, interesting. Yeah. So that they told me to, to, to talk to you about a lot of things because you did music at the beginning. You used to, yes. um, you used to be an artist, and you're a rapper. Yes, I still do that. Uh, I don't think that's something that ever leaves a person. Well, I don't see it leaving me, but, uh, when you I, don't start do doing it, that. I don't do it as much. Uh, I think I started in, I don't know, age of 15, whatever year that was. Uh, if I told you, I'd be dating myself. So it's okay. It's okay. You it's don't all have to. good. <laughs> but you know, you know, Jay Norman. Jay Norman, uh, maybe his face, but the name doesn't he's, ring a bell. His cousin, um, you guys used to be really good friends, like probably best friends. So, that's and that's good. how he heard of you. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. So, well, I didn't know I was popular or whatever you said I was around. Yeah, here. because they know you from Chose. So if you want anything done, go to Chose. Yes. That's yes. what I heard. So um, yes. then I watched the transition of you going from music to beat to um, I actually saw you become a cameraman. And you were news director. Well, yes. Uh, <laughs> You want to discuss that in what order? Whatever one you want, because you do a lot of things. Well, okay, let's start with the news director thing. Again, that's another uh, thing that I do um, freelance work, and that is for 102.3 FM WGRT in Port Huron, Michigan. Put that so in the chat too, please. Yeah, you got to tune in to that uh, when you're riding around, cruising around the city, check it out. But uh, yeah, I, I'm the news director there. Uh, that kind of happened by, I don't want to say happenstance or coincidence, because I don't believe in it either. But yeah, it just it's kind of it just kind of happened actually. So I I was requested. My services were requested. I started working there. Uh, shortly after that, their news director uh, took on another endeavor. And then I took over as news director. So I've been doing that for a little under a year now. I think it'll be a year in July, August, something like that. Can you put that radio station in the private chats and I'll copy and paste yes. that too? Because anything we that. paste in here will go on YouTube and Facebook and Twitch and it will stay on with the program. So people will be able to see that. Then... And you are so quick at typing. I am not that quick. I can't see well. <laughs> and then you um, wrote my bio for my business. You wrote my bio for my safe healing business. Oops, I resent yes. it. Hold on. Yeah. I apologize. Yeah. I did that. 
you did that. And I had a lot of, um, I have a lot of compliments on that. Oh, that's excellent. I'm, I'm glad people like it. Yeah. Um, yeah I'm, you, I'm, I'm, I'm okay uh, at what I do. So, you know. You, you don't realize what an impact you make on someone's life unless someone constantly comes to you every day and says, guess what? You did this. Guess what? You did this. Guess what? You True. did this. So we just go through life and, and um, you said at the beginning, what could we possibly talk about? Um, you're just one person. You don't have much to talk about, but you are one person that does a, a lot, like 30 people. Oh, I say about 10. Uh, 10 yeah. uh, that's because you're modest or humble or you're just unaware, one or the other. If you're I could very... have nine, nine clones, I'd be good. Okay. Because yeah. you're very intelligent, so I don't think you're um, unaware. Or naive. Thank you. Thank so, you. <laughs> and, and you're a father, and you have an amazing son. Yes, I am a father of an 18 year old. Um, you know, he recently graduated high school. He is starting his life as an, an adult, and you know, a new chapter. So that's pretty interesting. So you do a lot of different things. Um, you do charity work. Uh, yeah, I like to give back to my community whenever possible. So I've done charity work for like, I don't know, the YMCA, um, Bridge Builders, uh, where else? The schools, a couple of local schools. Uh, I do the Lunch Buddy program at STEAM Academy, Woodrow Wilson in Port Huron. Um, and that involves sitting with a student at lunchtime once a week and just, you know, kind of being like a big brother, big sister program. So what I find um, ironic about everything that you do, you actually are shy. Uh, yes, I guess I'm an <laughs> introvert. I wouldn't say shy, I'm just an introvert because you know, when I have to, I can turn I can turn it on and off, but I prefer not to ever have to turn it on, you know? But when duty calls, oh yeah. And, and you're really much in the public and you deal with pub the public almost every single day for someone that, um, prefers to be alone. That's weird. It's it, not weird. I can't say weird. I don't even mean yeah. to say weird. Oh it, yeah, I understand. It's a it's a contradiction. Yeah, kind of like an oxymoron. Yes, yeah, so I am a walking contradiction, an introvert that is often in the eye of the public, often speaking with people, often on podcasts like this, videos. Oh yeah, I have my own podcast on 102.3 FM. Limelight with shows. Check it out. <laughs> Put that in the comments. Limelight with show yes, with shows yes. and I will definitely um share that. So um you remind me of like um Superman where nobody would thought that Clark Kent was Superman at all. <laughs> at all. And I'm not trying to gaslight you or um pump you up. Like I just oh, yeah. know you know you. And I've seen your growth and seen both sides of you. It was a big step. I thought it was a big step for you to come into the camera from behind the camera. Yes, it's definitely a big step. It, like I said, I'm an introvert, so I'd rather be behind the camera than in front of it. But if I have to be in front of it, it's not a problem either. That's amazing. See, you know, you know whatever, whatever it takes to get the job done, right? What can you say to someone young that is like, no, I'm scared? That is the worst thing you can be i guess <laughs> fear is the killer of everything uh especially your dreams so i like to tell people when it comes to fear if your life or safety is not in danger then it's not going to kill you right or harm you it's all in your mind it's all a psychological thing you're you're scaring yourself you're telling yourself you can't do something which leads to you not doing something because you're afraid to fail or be ridiculed, uh, whatever reasons the fear you have of, you know, pursuing your dreams or passions. So yeah, fear is the killer of your dreams and you can never give in to that. I would love to utilize you on mm -hmm. June 11th. And I'm not gonna try to put you um, under, like out here in, on the spot where you feel like you have to say <laughs> yes, but we are doing Everyone Eats and I would love you to be the accommodator for it. Oh yeah, what is what is everyone eats? We are giving you back. You don't want to put me on the spot, but you put me on the spot. I am. I know. <laughs> I know. 
we are giving back to the community. We're providing bathhouses, clothes, haircuts, food. Um, I don't think that it should be um, a privilege to take a shower. I, I think that we should be able to regardless. I agree. And so I want to set up a spot in, in June 11th on west side of Detroit on Oakman Boulevard. I already got it already set up. Um, we're doing an event this Friday to raise funds for it. And then I'm going to go to different businesses and um, get people to donate. So I have Eddie Bauer already set up through a friend of mine um, to donate clothes. Um, I still have some winter coats from last um, winter um, that I gave away because we gave away 250 coats for the warm for the winter. Um, I got some Amazing. shoes. I got some um, some just, just different things. People are donating clothes to me. So I'm trying to have someone commentate because we're also going to put on a, a show afterwards. So at the beginning, we're going to start with um, the showers and the haircuts and whatnot. And then we're going to start with the entertainment about four o'clock and the food. So it's going to be an all day event. And it's on a Sunday. Yeah, so like the day before my birthday, I'll let you know. We'll, we can discuss it, you know. When is your birthday? It's June 12th, so it's the day before um, my birthday. So who, know, know. who knows what kind of uh, adventures I'll be having before that, you know. I did not know that. I didn't plan yeah. that. I knew, I knew, I knew you were um, a Gemini. I knew, oh, but yeah. I didn't. I didn't know that it was the. I forgot actually. I knew it yeah. was the twelfth. I forgot. Um, so you would be the a great uh, um a great asset to have on that because you can speak elegantly. And um, you use the proper words for the proper meaning to get people to have a good understanding. I will him ha and pause and um, not. I do, I do the same thing. I told you when the camera comes on, it's like I forget anything that I had to say. But you are so poised with it. I'm a hot mess. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said it, not me. <laughs> a beautiful hot mess but a hot mess but i would like to have um everybody come out um for everyone eats and just be a part of it because everything's free nothing is coming out of your guys's pocket at all and i just want people to come and enjoy it we're gonna, like a, like a good event we're gonna pay for the haircuts everything um we're gonna set up the bath houses and whatnot and i just want people i don't you don't have to be poor you don't have to be homeless <laughs> You don't have to be um, needing to take advantage and utilize this. Excellent. So, yeah. But anyways, let's talk about you. So, what else do you do? Uh, I don't know. I fight crime at nighttime. <laughs> I told it's you, Superman. Yeah. It's one of the other things that I do in my when I get a chance, when I'm not doing... All of the other things I like to dress up like a bat and, you know, patrol the streets to make sure the citizens are safe. I told you, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't do um, music no more? You don't, you don't rap? Well, yeah, I do. I do. I do music still. Uh, do a little acting. I'm trying to get into that lately. So yeah, like I said, I don't think that talent or passion ever leaves a person, but being that I am, I guess, I guess a more of a public figure, I kind of like to censor my music a little more, I guess, Yeah. because, you know, working with the children and things like that, you don't want people to get this negative perception of you, even though it's just entertainment. Um, I don't know. So I'm trying to balance trying to balance those things out at the moment. Okay, I can appreciate that. I can appreciate that. Um, Yeah, I can appreciate that. Yeah. I don't, I, I, I love helping and going, giving back to the community and stuff like that, but I don't really want to per se to be a public figure because I don't no. want to watch what I have to do. No, I don't either. I don't like it at all. I no. like to be, you know, free to do whatever I want to do. Yeah. As long as it doesn't hurt anyone, that is, you know. You're very spiritual. So, yeah, to see, to have um, yeah. kind of rules and structures on um, heart. Yes. yes. And and I don't do well with time. I don't know how you are with time, but I don't do well with time. So to have a time where you have to be in a certain place at a certain time to do a certain thing, I, I'm kind of shitty on that. Yeah. 
you know, it takes some discipline for sure. Cause I, <laughs> I struggle with that sometimes, sometimes. sometimes. <laughs> it's just amazing that when you, when you grow up knowing of people and to think that what they're going to be like when they get older, to see a totally opposite, you are 360 compared to what you were in high school. Yes. Well, not really. Cause I, I still rap. So there's that. So, you there's know, I didn't, I didn't change too much. Just a little bit. I, I guess I didn't change at all. I just made some adjustments. That's good. I love that. See, I like how you think. Yes. Thank you. Oh, so you, you taught me about, um, free will. Yes. We had it a conversation about that. So much sense. It makes so much sense. And then I, the more I um, am um, evolving and growing, the more I am learning that actually free will is what you speak into the universe and that um, the, when the universe listens and that you manifest. I suppose so. If that's the case, then I, yeah, I think I did that. And that's better than the ideal of what I thought that you had free will, like the old free will. Can you explain? Can we explain for those who don't know? So I was of an understanding when I was um when I first started, like everybody went to church. Everybody was a Christian. Everybody believed in everything that was told to them. If you say no, then I'm proud of you because I know I did. Right. Um, so I thought free will was um you have a choice to say what you can and can't do in this world for you and i don't know when that started because like when you explain it to me well, the way you explained it is that if you have free will when, when did you have it because you couldn't choose when you were born you couldn't choose who your parents were at that moment yes. you did you did beforehand but you didn't choose at that moment and you can't choose when you're gonna die right so when did we get our free will so what makes a person think they have a say in what happens in between, you know, being born and dying? You don't, my belief is you don't write your own script, I guess. It's just the illusion of free will, I guess. And I'm agreeing to that to a point because I've, I've learned some things and um, exchanged um, some information and um, it, some things just make sense. Yeah, I don't claim to have all the answers, by the way. So no, take it with a grain of salt. But ahead of time, we agreed to choose our parents ahead of time to learn the life lesson that we went through. Well, I can't speak to something that I have no knowledge of. So I, don't, right. I don't know if that's true or not either. I, right. I don't even have an opinion on that one because I, I just don't know if I agree to all of this. I don't see myself agreeing to and That's OK. <laughs> If, I, that's if okay. I knew all of this was going to be a thing, you know, I mean, life's great, but, you know, you die. Who would agree to just be born to die? I don't think I would ever choose that option if I had one. I don't think we have. I don't know. Maybe, I, think, maybe I would. I don't think that's our option. I think our option always is we have to do that. Because that we have true. to pay for what our ancestors done wrong. This is just my opinion. I don't know nothing. I'm not a doctorate of nothing. I didn't write right. anything. I don't know um, the future. I did not go back and past and um, get blessed to know anything. I'm learning as I'm going along too. Um, I do know I don't want to come back to this place again though because it sucks. I love life. Yes. I love it's life. Great. Life is great. Life but it is, sucks. <laughs> life, is, life is excellent. Um, I think life, if your life sucks or not, I think it just depends on who you surround yourself with with and what do you do with your with yourself every day yeah if you play video games all day you don't create anything for yourself or your children or, or you know if you don't give back to something if you don't i guess if your life doesn't have any purpose or meaning I'm, i can only speak for me yeah i feel like if i'm not accomplishing or doing something to better the place where i live or to better myself then life can be yeah kind of blah and when I say it sucks, I don't mean that um, it owes me anything and that it's shitty. I think it sucks because people will hurt people's feelings. Um, and I think that this world's mean. 
and ugly, but it's beautiful in the same breath. I, I, I am um, totally um, contradicting myself. I know when I say this, because even though I think it sucks, it's still very beautiful. Do you think there's more good people than bad people? Yes, or I vice do. Versa? Yes, I do. I think there's more good than bad. So, so how could the world suck if it was more good people than bad? Because people um, aren't mindful of themselves and the ones that do bad, they hurt. And that hurt is unforgivable. Even though we have to forgive and forget, once we hear it, it's hard to uncondition our mind to undo it. Can you explain to me what forgive what forgiveness is? What does that mean to you? To accept and to still love. I, I had a bad experience happen to me about five years ago, and now I can speak of it and it don't hurt me at all. And I speak of it as if I've seen it or someone told me about it. I don't speak of it as if I witnessed it or lived through it. And I think the pre person is a very beautiful person and I want nothing but the best for them. Well, I Even guess, though I, they tried taking my life. Yeah, I don't, I don't forgive people then. <laughs> and I definitely forgive because I, I, I don't hold it against them. I, I don't, there's people who've done less and I still haven't forgiven them, so. You're a Gemini. I am mad at you. <laughs> That's why I asked you what is forgiveness, because I don't know what that means. <laughs> That's okay though. I don't. I, there's a lot of things I can't relate to either. Like um um, <laughs> I can't relate to jealousy and I can't relate to greed, but I get it. I know what it means, but I just can't yes. relate to it. So yes. So yes, I, I can can I can receive that you don't you don't get forgiveness. Yeah, I, can't I, I don't. I don't know how to, I guess I need work in that area. Like I said, I'm always trying to be a better person. So whatever forgiveness is, uh, I need some of that. <laughs> I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you at all. But yeah, no, um, I don't want nothing bad to happen to anyone, no matter what. Oh, no, know. me me either. And, and I actually don't yeah. hold on to anything. I will go up and give that person a hug as if they didn't do it. But at, at the end of the day, I will love them. And I don't know why this keeps, I'm going to have to ask you a question in a minute. Maybe you'll know. But um, I at the end of the day, I will love them from afar. Because if you didn't appreciate my life, you don't deserve my presence. So I will forgive you and move on and still love you. But I don't need to be around you. Yeah, that's an inter interesting philosophy. Yeah. So my laptop keeps shutting it off. Is it because not shutting off, just the screen keeps going black and it never used to do that and now it does? Is it because I always leave it plugged in? Maybe. Do you have like a screen timer? Uh -uh. Maybe ac accidentally activated I might that? Have. I might have. See, and I'm very intelligent. Why wouldn't I thought of that? I don't know. It's sometimes... <laughs> It's the simplest things that escape us. Yeah. Of of was the hardest one. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the word of. Oh, look. You see, mine went, my screen went black, too. Oh, that's crazy. It's just from in inactivity, I guess. It must be. So yeah. I have to check to see if I have one because. Um, so I have to move my mouse around every now and then. It, mine's a touch screen. I could probably do the mouse thing, too. But yeah. mine never used to do that. And now it's starting to do it. So mm, I have to. Interesting. Um, figure out why but i always leave it plugged in and i know that drains the battery well they say it does you're not supposed to do that but who knows who knows but anyway so um do you have your music out what is your name um for your artist and for um what your artist name is is it chose yes c-h-o-z-e chose Yes. Write that in, and I'll, I'll put that there. And are you on YouTube on your shows? Uh, you might find something here and there, but I don't have a lot of music uh, on the internet at all. Maybe a little bit on my Instagram, a little bit on Facebook, a little bit on SoundCloud, a song or two on YouTube, but nothing dedicated to where I put all of my content, I guess. So it, since you are a public speaker, do you have to use... um? Uh, what is it, BMI and ASCAP as a, a public speaker? Well, I'll, I use that as like a music a music artist, but not for public speaking. If there is something that I'm missing there, hey, let me know. I could be getting I know, I need to find it too. I ain't mad. So I'll if anybody it, you know. hears this, knows of anything, let us know. <laughs> yes. Because my voice is everywhere. 
Yeah, definitely. Um, I would like to um utilize that. Um, I don't want someone to take advantage of that. And th- I guess it sits there, right? And so what happens is all that music just sits there. The Royals, he sits there and they give it away like a drawing or something, right? Oh, I don't know. I, I would hope not. I think you can go and claim your royalties whenever you realize that you're owed money. But uh, if you didn't do the proper paperwork before that, no one owes you anything. Do you know um, people outside of Port Huron? Uh, I know a couple people on Mars, maybe three or four on Saturn, but outside of that, no. Okay, so do you know who Sin Crawford is? I do not. Who okay. is Sin Crawford? Sin Crawford's um, a very educated person that used to do music and now is just um, on the business part of it. And um, he would be um, beneficial to talk to if you needed to know anything when it comes to logistics. And he gives away a lot of information um, for free. And then he also charges. But like the free part is the stuff that people should utilize because I think um, networking and communication is huge if you know ignorance is what gets us in trouble. Yes. Knowledge is power and ignorance is bliss. So, yeah. yeah. Right. So, to know anyone who knows a little more than you in a, on an area that you are not familiar with, because I don't, I don't know a lot of things because I don't do a lot when it comes to certain things. Like I'm not an artist, so I don't. I just learned what those were. I just learned what an ML three was, and that's the music license scene from the Congress and you can get three times more royalties if you oh, get that, one of those. That's interesting. I, I had no idea about that. See, so I know some things and um, Isaac Rogers told me that and he knows a little bit about that part of it too. So there's just different people, even though I don't, I'm not in the music industry, 85% of people that are on our podcast are all artists. Nice. And I keep putting on events. This is our fifth event or sixth event. I don't remember. I think our sixth. And um, I keep on, I'm up around artists all the time. So if you were, let's just talk um, to the future. If you were to come on and um, commentate, um, commentate, is it commentate? Comment? I'm, not, I'm not sure. What, it, I don't um, what, what do you want me to do? If you speak, <laughs> you're a speaker during the, um, Oh, like a host? Yeah. Yeah. But I don't I don't know if it's a host for a whole all no. day event. But yeah. So okay. well, if you, you, you know. Yeah, I don't know what it's called. But anyhow, if, <laughs> if you come out and talk during the event, when the artist has come on later, would you ever do anything music wise? Well, I don't really like to perform anymore. I kind of just like I just do it do it when I want to do it <laughs> just when I feel like you know Honestly. making a song for myself because I don't really I don't share a lot of my music it's more of like a therapeutic thing or a a release valve like uh, a form of expression if you will so I don't like you know I don't sell my music on Apple you're not gonna find it there or anything like that uh if you if you hear something it's just because I wanted to share share it so which yeah. is odd because you're good. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm okay. I'm not no, bad. No, 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 no. You're, you're very modest. You're good. Thank you. I appreciate it. I listen to a lot of people's music and you're top tier to the people, like to the everyday people. There's, he, um, Sin Crawford again said there's like 2.8, I want to say million or billion. It's a big number of people that do music in 230 something are on listen. There's not even one person that listens to them. Yeah. I, I just saw some stats like that. Uh, dealing with the numbers on Spotify, how many artists like have been heard or no plays or something like that. Yeah. And it's not because nobody cares about them. They just don't support themselves and they don't put their stuff out there. Yes. I and believe that. You're better than half of those, maybe 75% of those. And I'm not, I'm not gaslighting you. I, I would tell you, I would say this if this wasn't true. I, if I didn't feel this way, I wouldn't have spoke on that. Oh, you're good though. Like you should do 
something because you do a lot for the community and for the youth, at least just to show them a, a different inner, um, different side because your music ain't about sex, drugs, killing. And rock and roll. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Yeah, your, your music ain't about that. Your music ain't about the streets. Your music ain't about um, getting up on somebody and taking from somebody. Yeah, I try not to. I try not to talk about those things unless there is a moral to the story in me. Me discussing those type of things, you know. And none of your songs has had those in it. I've listened to probably four of your songs. I don't know how I heard them, but I've heard four of your songs, and they were good. They were universal good and uplifting, and they had a message, and they and I felt them in my soul. That's awesome. I'm glad that it made you feel that way. And that's how it first was discussed about you is music wise. And, and then um, I spoke to you and you said, yeah, you don't do music like that. And I was like, oh, OK. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I guess if you know somebody who raps and they like think they're good, I'll, I'll challenge them. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you know. win. And that's the thing. <laughs> you are you are good, but you don't want to do nothing with it. And it's a, a yeah. release and an outlet for you. That's it. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not afraid of competition. I'm not a, you know, I don't, like I said, I don't think that I'm, I'm bad. So if, if anyone thinks they're better than me, then, you know, we can record songs and see whose songs are better. Okay. Would you like to do that challenge for real? <laughs> no, I'm just talking, but yeah. If someone okay. Is, if, Cause if I know <laughs> a bunch of people that would love to do that with you and you would win and make them feel yeah. bad, but like, yeah. it'd be great. I, I don't want to embarrass anyone. <laughs> 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 All bullshit society's not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, what do you want to do with your life? What do you want to do in the future, like for the people, for the for the youth? Because I know honestly, your whole ideal in life and living is to make a difference for the youth. You're really big on the youth. Yeah. Um, what's that old Whitney Houston song? She says, I believe the children are the are the future, right? Yeah. It's pretty cliche. Everybody's heard it a thousand times. It probably probably doesn't even have meaning to people anymore, but uh, it has a lot of meaning to me because without proper education or care, <clears throat> children grow up to be those kind of adults, you know, and uh, we don't want those kind of adults because then those kind of adults make the laws, they make the policies, they make the rules, they own the businesses, they become the people who, you know, have a say in how our lives are lived, I guess. So an uneducated child will become an uneducated adult and you don't want uneducated adults making major decisions. So yes, education and uh, care for the youth is a big deal. So what do you want to do then? What do you want to do with this? Um, what I want to do? Well, for now, I live in the moment, so I, I try not to get too far ahead of myself because, you know, I could be gone tomorrow. But if it was up to me, I would in the future like to, I don't know, put together a organization, a, a building, a place where children can go to uh, get the things that they don't get at home, whether that be food or education, entertainment, care, whatever the case may be. Uh, just a place that cares about the children in the community and wants to make them better people. So I have four different people that are going to open up a rec center for the youth. Um, if you're interested, I would love to link you with them eventually, because I'm telling you, um, we need more people like you. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate that. Because it's not about, I could, I've known you and I knew of you mm. and I spoke of you, but people are put in your life for a reason. They're either to learn and um, utilize or to to um, share knowledge and um, um, connections. Yes. So I know a lot of People oh, you, a lot of and um, for some reason, a lot of people have been coming to me that want to open up these centers. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I would definitely like to, you know, speak with those individuals. Okay. You know, 
like minds and such. Yes, for sure. Yes, because every Sunday we do um, a cleanup for Dow's gold card track. Now we didn't do it last Sunday, last couple of Sundays because of the weather and because of it was Mother's Day. But next Sunday is going to be gorgeous, and it's after our event. Um, we're definitely going to do it, and we're trying to get the go kart track just to be ready to be open again this year because she's been open since 1982 and she's a black business owner oh, wow. and they're doing they're doing everything in her power to keep her shut down. They're doing so much to keep her shut down that next door now has a dispensary. So if she opens up that dispensary has to move. So the dispensary's doing whatever it can to keep her down. Mm, that's too bad. Wow. Yes. So I have a Bunch of people um, inactive right now, lawyers and whatnot, to um, to get her process to go further to open up. She wants to. We've been cleaning this go kart track up. Um, I would love to to speak about it. Um, I can give you all the information on it. Um, just to get awareness, it's on the west side of Detroit, Oakman Boulevard, forty four fifty five. Um, Detroit, Michigan, 48204. And I would love people just to be aware of it because we need to have a place for our children to go. Definitely. We need to, um, nothing against marijuana because I'm an advocate of smoking it. So there's nothing against that. And I would love for medical purposes to be able to utilize that into the treatment center that I'm going to open. Just for the fact of no, when it comes to our youth, that's way more important. So our youth needs to have a place that's safe. I agree. Marijuana could go anywhere. I agree. So and across the street, she owns over 25 acres. And across the street, she has two buildings that she wants to, to um, open up rec centers. Hmm. And her son is taking the buyout from Chrysler to do that. And he's been working there for 30 years. Oh, wow. So those 30 years were just for this moment then? Yes. Interesting. So um, I'm sure you would love to meet him and speak with him. Um, you guys are on the same page and same um, mentality and wavelength. It would be a, a probably a great union to speak with him. I'm all for it. So, yeah. So um, and then um, my old co-host is also opening it up one too. And he's 31. And so he's younger than us, but he wants to open one also. And he knows a lot of people because he also does a couple other podcasts, um, Dope World News and um, Dope World News and um, what's the other one? Um, people, People. And he's got this love trade that he does um, once a month and where people come and um, do music and exchange on um, barter exchange service. And he's going to open up also a youth center. So anybody that's um, interested in the youth and want to be a part of the youth, tap in. Tap in with Cho's. Um, tap in on one of his sites, on one of his pages, anywhere. Just email him. Um, if you put your email address on here. Okay. I, I will have that. people email you. But I want, I want to make a difference in this world, too. In order to make a difference in the um, world, we have to become the difference. Yes, I believe that. And, and um, people are put into our lives in the, for a reason. And I'm not about just keeping people in my lives and not speaking on it. I'm about utilizing blessings because I don't want to come back here no more. And I know we have a different feeling. <laughs> and, I'm not, and I'm quite okay with that. That doesn't bother me. We're not supposed to be the same. No, I would hope not. No, because I don't stand up to pee. No, I, I would hope not. I can't. It'd be a hot mess. I <laughs> try. It's messy. Oh, well. wow. Just, <laughs> just no, I'm not. <laughs> but anyways, you got to try, try everything at least once, I guess, right? Just to know. But anyways, so um, people do come into our lives. Like this lady, um... My co, my ex co-host, um, Jabrell, his friend ID Cipher, um, is a, a musician, um, an artist. He became really close friends with me, and his mother is the one who owns Dow Go Kart Track. Most interesting thing about her, not that, not that she's just a business, a black business owner, um, back in 1982, 
when it was hard to own a business as a black person. But yet she also, her and her husband fought to get rights for um, police brutality because her son was wrongly accused and in prison for over 10 years for something mm. he didn't do. And they beat him up and cops were um, abusive to him as a black man when he was only 17. It's terrible. So they fought and got some laws changed. So they actually made a difference in the laws on how the cops handle things. I know George, um, for, George, um, what's his, um, Floyd, and um, all the mother people made a difference too. But so did they. So, awesome. huh? I said that's awesome. Yeah. So that's how I first started talking to them, and um, they made a huge movement and a huge difference. And then when I found out about the go kart track and then what they're doing to her, they're trying to charge her with everything. We're cleaning this go kart track and um, they just sent her a ticket for $220 and she had to pay it um, or in order for her to renew her business license because the track was um, being cleaned because there was trash and the fence was messed up. But it sat like that for four years and no one did nothing and no tickets. Now that we're cleaning, they someone decided to come by and say something and give her a ticket. Yeah, that's pretty weird. And then there's a water runoff tax and um, they are charging her $11,000 in her water runoff tax when she don't have the water there. It's because her property sits low. So all the rain from all the property around is draining into the sewage and she's getting charged for it. Oh, wow. That's that doesn't sound fair. What's going on? No. So that's why we have lawyers and stuff with her. But I would love the news to cover it. I would love somebody else to cover it besides just lawyers. I wanted to make a difference and, and change the rules because when her husband was alive, he used to go to the city board all the time and made a difference. And they didn't bother with them because he spoke on it. But now that he's passed and he's been passed for three years, um, they're bullying her. Yeah, they tend to do that sometimes. It's not fair. No, it's, it's not fair at all. So I'm trying to bring awareness to it so they can stop, but I'm just one person. So I got a couple people on board, but I would really love to get more on board because um, we have to speak for those that can't speak for themselves. I agree. And that's from the children to the seniors. I agree. So I want to make a difference. I want them to stop because she's not out here running a trap house. She has a go-kart track. That's so, so much better it, than a, 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 a liquor store. <laughs> is it operational at all? It hasn't been in three years and she's in the process of getting it repaid. We're getting a process of getting it open. It will be open by July. It will be open by June 11th when we're there. It's going to be open. Oh, that's cool. Yes. We're in the process right now to get it all repaid. We've been cleaning it. We've been getting all, we got to get rid of more things. I'd love people to come volunteer and help out to do more things there. Anybody, anybody who has a business that wants to do something, please come help out. Like we need to get these tires removed. Um, We need to, there's a lot of things that we need to do. So anybody that knows what trick, anything, come out and help because we could utilize this. We really would love to help. So it's every Sunday at 11 a.m. We um, have um, a, a DJ there, so there's music there. We have a barbecue there, so we provide food. Um, we just want volunteers to come out and help and make a difference. And anybody would like a lawyer or anything or anybody that knows the law in Detroit in the city laws and stuff, please speak on her behalf and say, uh, no, this ain't fair. Yes. So that's what I want to have happen. I want to make, I want her to be able to provide her service like she used to do for these children. Um, she's been in the newspaper. She's been on TV. They used to have a, a, you come down and do a song and a dance and you get to ride for free day. Um, she put a couple people through college. Um, she, a um, couple famous people um, in the sports industry, like on the White Sox and stuff like that. She helped put them through college and um, took care of them as the youth. They live with her because their parents didn't want them. So they moved in with her and now they're playing for the White Sox. So they don't they don't want to reach out and help her. Um, I don't think they're quite aware of what's going on. 
Oh, well. That's all it is. I don't think they don't care. I just don't think they're aware. Right. So I, I want it to be aware. I want people to be more aware. She was on my podcast and um, I speak on it often, but that's not that's not doing much. I want it to do get out there more. I want it to be put on radio stations and everything. I want everybody to know about it. I'm disappearing. You it's are. You me disappearing. I do. Yeah. I do. I don't know what's happening, but I think it might be the lighting in my room. So <laughs> it's getting the time for you to turn into a bat to go save yes. time. Yes, it's about that time. <laughs> But anyway, so everybody come out. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll wrap it up because it's getting to be about the hour mark. So um, and everybody come out this Friday. Um, all all um, donations this Friday, everything from the door, all of it is going to Everyone Eats on um, June 11th. Nothing is coming to my pocket. It all goes back out. Um, we're giving back to the community. We're giving back to the people. And I want people to utilize this. So come out to Club 54 Friday at 10 o'clock to 2 a.m. There's going to be over 14 artists, um, two different hosts. Um, people are sharing it like crazy. Come out, have a good time, and um, it's for a good cause. And then June 11th, everyone eats at Dow's Go-Kart Track. But every Sunday, we're going there to do something because we have to help her. She's helped a lot of people. Now it's her turn to get help. How old is this? young woman um i don't know if she i think she was born in the um she probably probably 67 oh okay 68 got you she's in her late 60s for a fact i can't say exactly how old um i call her mom but i don't know exactly how old she is is she planning to uh run the business again like she's gonna be in charge of everything her and her kids all her kids are stepping up to the plate um to do something she has one girl and all boys and her boys are all stepping in to do their part that's good yeah but the more the merrier because she helped a lot of people in this community she helped right. a lot of people so let's help her but all right um so is there anything you want to say before we wrap this up um I will say go check out Phantom Pen Media on Instagram and Facebook. Um, check out 102.3 FM WGRT on Instagram and Facebook and Google. Also check out the Keel PH, the KeelPH.com or Facebook and Instagram as well. Um, and also, last but not least, uh, Phantom Pen Media. Did I, did I say that? Yeah. <laughs> There's so, there's so many, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, we got The Keel, PH, Phantom Pen Media, Thumb Coast TV, and 102.3 FM WGRT. Those are the organizations and businesses that I am a part of, have a hand in, where you can uh, go read or watch my work and, you know, check it out and you might learn something. What was the Blue Water Board of Commerce? What did you do there? Oh, I am a member of the Blue Water Area Chamber of Commerce uh, here in Port Huron, and I am also a board member uh, with them as well. So go check all that out. Um, you make a difference in this world, and I appreciate you, and I know many people do. Continue being amazing. Thank you. I try. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. It's also From my pleasure, you know? Yeah, no. From one person to another, I'm proud of you. Um, I've seen your growth and your change, and keep going. You're doing amazing. Thank you. I appreciate it. And likewise. Yes. All right. Well, I want everybody to thank you because without you guys, we wouldn't be here and have a reason to speak. So thank you for tuning in and um, keep supporting us. I appreciate you. Ashe, everyone. Thank you for having me. Yes.